Hello, hello, hello. I am so excited to be back here. It is Monday morning and wow, has it not been so much fun. Last week I was in Portland crafting with the one and only Leah Griffith. And if you guys have not been able to hop over and check out those three videos, be sure to check it out because we have a special giveaway that we're actually picking the winner for today. So this is the last chance to subscribe to both Leah and I and leave us a comment if you want like a special little a little bonus entry. Um, but yeah, we're back and I'm so excited because in today's video, we are using the Cricut to use vinyl on faux pumpkins. If you are brand new to the channel, if you came over from the wonderful Leah Griffith channel, I'm Tanner Bell, founder of MakersGonnaLearn.com, a digital die cutting platform that is made for die cutting enthusiasts like yourself. I am so excited to share with you guys this idea because if you're like me, I am always using faux pumpkins and I want a solution that it can evolve with me through my decor and last for years and years. So with a little piece of vinyl, a foam pumpkin, and our wonderful Cricut machine, whether it's an explorer, maker, anything like that, you're gonna love it. So as you guys join, be sure to share with us where you're visiting from. Rachel, anybody popping in? Alicia, Angela, Barb, Donna, Jolie, Lisa, oh. Yvette, Elena, they all say hello. Yay! Barb says she's a new member. <gasps> Welcome, Barb. And you need to go download this this collection right here. So this is from our holiday collection. It is Hello Fall. Now, if you're an existing member of Makers Gonna Learn, guess what? This week we are launching our fall collection and it is going to have so many amazing DIY ideas for you. So it's going to have a lot, but we already have files that you can start using for fall today. So that's what I wanted to share with you and just share with you guys some tips for applying vinyl onto a foam or on a foam or faux pumpkin. Um, this took me like only eight minutes and there are a few tips that I have for you because it is such a textured surface and it kind of bubbles up, but we're just gonna work through that together um, and share with you guys some tips. So if you're brand new, have no idea what we do here, um, we share Cricut inspiration, we share DIY ideas, and we have a membership site that we want you to join um, for all the fun. So makersgonnalearn.com, we give you guys all of your die cutting file needs. Um, every single month we come out with a new collection. We have free commercial use license for our members. We we have a members only Facebook group. We have two monthly member live stream workshops. Um, 12 projects come out with every collection. So our big selling point is that we are crafters and we work with designers to design files that we all want to use. Um, a big thing is that we have for yearly members, you're going to get access to a few e-courses completely free. So we have a course on how to blog we have a Cricut Maker and Design Space course, and we have a Build a Business Through Die Cutting. Those courses are usually valued at around $130, $140 that you get 100% free as a bonus if you are a yearly member. So yearly members and all members, as soon as you join, get access to our 400 plus SVG cut file library, Plus, if you're a yearly member, you're prepaying for a year's worth of content, which is going to be an additional four to 500 files um, in the next year. So that's a huge, huge value. If you're looking to get signed up, click the first link below and you'll find this page. So anyway, guys, this is a collection we designed last year and I love it. We're, I've went ahead and cut it out for you. It says, hello fall. And we're just gonna weed that together. But the biggest point in today's video is to learn how to apply vinyl onto a foam pumpkin. And it's a circular, you know, it's a little different and it's not going to 100% always be perfect because of the vinyl. But we're gonna give you guys some really great tips. I obviously pre-made this one just for us to test out. Rachel was watching me and she's like, make sure you have good tips. Um, but Rachel, how was it last week without me in the office? Was it lonely? It was lonely. <laughs> it was very lonely. Whenever you're here, we get super crafty and there's always inspiration when Tanner's around. Aww. If you know him, you definitely know that. So well, yeah, I'm definitely glad to be back and be getting crafty. Rachel, for everyone that don't know who you are, introduce yourself. They, okay. they, you know, tell us a little bit about you. Well, my name is Rachel Hensley. I've worked with Tanner full time for about two years now. 
I've done a little bit of everything. <laughs> um, anything Tanner needs. I she always, gets it done. Yeah, I it's magical. Say, I'm here to help your, you know, make your life easier. So whatever I can do, you just let me know. So yeah, Rachel's amazing, guys. And if you've been following the channel, even if you've not been following the channel for a while, you know Rachel is like the MVP. She's been with us through the thick and thin. Um, and we love her. So she's getting married this month. So she's about to leave us for two, uh, a week and a half um, to get married and the honeymoon and all that jazz. But we're excited for her. So um, if you all didn't see what I just did, I just made sure I was cutting a piece of transfer pay tape exactly to the size we needed. So it covers it. And a great tip, if you're a beginner to using a die cutting machine, I love to weed on my mat. It, it is very intentional that I'm weeding from the mat because it keeps it flat. Um, so what I usually do, if it's a more intricate project, I'll tape it to my bright pad so that I'm able to make sure it stays. So do we have any comments? How's everyone doing on a Monday morning? Everybody's doing great. We've got some people telling us where they're from. Yay! Um, Mariana said, hi, Tanner, could you do something with the maker and wood? I'm yes. thinking about getting the maker as well and create crafts with wood. I was thinking maybe a laser cut, but I don't know. Yeah, so the maker is able to cut wood. There's some amazing projects you're able to do with the maker and the knife blade. Um, it does take quite some time, but guess what? Fall is here, and I think this would be an amazing start for us to do more with the knife blade. So thank you. We, we will stay tuned. We do have some videos using the knife blade, so check those out. We made some amazing marquee letters, completely custom, thanks to the knife blade and heavy-duty chipboard. So that's a good one to check out. Alicia said, I made the cutest shadow box with our thankful, grateful, blessed SDG. Yay! I love that. That is awesome. Please share photos. So I have my Cricut transfer tape. You can use any transfer tape, but I just, you guys know I love my Cricut. When I'm applying transfer tape, I like to start in the middle so I can make sure it's covering up everything and just kind of let it flow down. And when you start from the middle, it really eliminates a ton of bubbles. Too, yes. From starting so, at the top or this or that. Yes. So we're just applying this to make sure it's all stuck. And then this is when we're going to take it off the mat. This is a very intentional step to make sure this is the part where we like to take it off the mat. So do do do. Ta-da. So we've got that. Now I'm flipping it over. And again, very intentional. We're going with gravity here to make sure we you know apply this to our transfer tape no need to add any extra work to ourselves if you guys have never used this this is a game changer look at how easy this is it's so much easier than going like like this it it'll save you so much so if you've not done this test it out report back let us know what you think of it we love this to transfer vinyl and different things it's always worked for me it's a good time saver too. It, i mean look at that look at that done right so we can toss that little scrap piece unless you go reuse this now this is a project if you're making multiple pumpkins you are more than welcome to reuse the transfer tape it's only going to work better um you don't have to have a fresh piece of transfer tape every single time so again you know we were talking about starting from the middle with our you know placing down, we're going to start with the middle applying onto our pumpkin. So you just want to start right here, just like so. And you kind of want to start in the middle and apply it. Now, another tip is I'm kind of going to make a few cuts in our transfer tape so we can work with it a little bit more. We'll give it a little bit more flexibility for the tape. Because remember, vinyl and different things are not made really to go on such textured surface, mm -hmm. but you're gonna be able to find out that it's really easy. Um, and of course, if you all have done this and have any tips, leave us a comment, let us know what you do. Um, excuse, sorry. Um, We're getting some comments. We have, yes, we have a question. Ask away. Tanner, what do you recommend for transfer paper when people are doing hot mess canvas projects <gasps> and having <laughs> issues with getting the pick to transfer to the canvas? Okay, so when I, did a hot mess canvas just the other night. I have a whole live making a hot mess canvas. Um, we just used regular, regular transfer tape, but I think the difference was we used spray paint. I think spray paint is the most underrated part of um, the project. If you're having trouble using like a really quality 
um, transfer tape like it's peeling up your paint or anything. Um, make sure you kind of put it on some fabric or something so it's not as stiff because I think the question was that the paint's peeling up. Is that the question? Um, Can you repeat it? Having issues getting the paint to transfer to the canvas. Okay, so it may not be wanting to stick to the paint or something like that. It depends. I'll, you know, here in a minute we can grab mine if we want and talk about it more. But yeah, it's it's one of those things you're going to want to be careful with. It could be a, a few numerous things. Um, but yeah, you might, it might be too thick and it might be peeling up your paint. If that's, that's one of the foreseen issues I could experience. So you can clarify and let us know. We'd love to help you. And Marcy said, Tanner, I work at the Michaels in West LA and I tell people about you whenever they buy uh, cricket. If you're ever in S at West LA, please come to my store because I would have some happy customers. Oh my gosh. Um, I love West LA. That's one of my jams. I did not know there was a Michaels. Are we talking about West, like Los Angeles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, West LA. Oh my gosh. Um, I on I've only been to the like uh, Studio City Michaels. So I'm gonna have to come see you guys because West LA is a hopping place. I love it. Bobby said, I'll just send you my pumpkins and you can do those. <laughs> Perfect. Send them on over. I'll message you my address. So right now what I'm going to do is I like to use this weeding tool to kind of get like, go ahead and do the first, make sure everything's sticking down. But I do have to say with it being textured, it kind of pops up really easily. So you just kind of, kind of work with the vinyl and start in one area and work with it. So I'm going to actually stick with the hello and try to position hello first. Um, a tip that I thought about giving you guys was separating it and applying it separately, but I don't know how much I would like that. So you could try if you wanted, but if you see here, focusing on one area at a time is probably going to be one of your best bets. So just getting that down like so. Marcy said, I'll have coffee and cookies for you too. Oh, uh, or, or the Michaels. Okay, well, that, I mean, it sounds like a game plan. I'm gonna have to tell Michaels I'm just go come and hang out. Going to see Marcy. I'm going to see Marcy. We need Marcy to come on the, the Michaels channel. We, we can do a little Facebook Live or something. So, okay, we're just gonna position this down. See how I'm pulling it and let it just, letting it kind of position itself down. Look at that. So this is something that does take some time. As you can't force it. You can't force yeah. it. And this is something you want to go a little slower with. So see here, I'm trying to just work with one, one letter at a time, letting it get adhered down. And then we'll go to our E. And this is something like, as you see here, I hope if anything, this gives you the confidence to be able to do this yourself because it does take just a little time and I think a lot of you like seeing this done live to see very realistic approach. Um, Cause sometimes it feels a little, um, a little different watching than, you don't want to feel silly when you're spending 15 minutes trying to apply vinyl to a pumpkin just cause it's a little textured. Ta-da! And see here what we can do. Right, this is getting a little crazy. So we can just pick that up and let it reposition. It's good that vinyl is pretty forgiving too. It, yeah. The vinyl is so forgiving. So like we can reposition this down some if we need it, which we will. So anyway, um, I'm going to cut this excess vinyl off right here. Ta -ta. And if we wanted, we could reposition the fall, which we actually will probably reposition just like so. Super easy. All right, so we have hello. And the only reason we're repositioning this is because I want to be able to get a really great image. And where I cut it, it's, there we go. I'm gonna position this down just a little bit. And honestly, I think the best, one of the tips that I have is to be sure to do it separate and focus on one word at a time so that you're able to give it the attention it needs. So just applying that down in the corners. It's definitely go help it. So check out, we already have hello done. Super, super awesome. We're only 14 minutes in and let's face it, I probably yapped for a quite some time. So if you're just joining us guys, we are using vinyl on pumpkins, sharing with you guys a live first look at how to do this. And for this size pumpkin, which do we have information on the size? Here's my head comparison. 
Um, it's a pretty decent size, um, you know, perfect for your fall table, decor, kitchens, anything like that. Rachel, where would you use this pumpkin? I would set it outside for trick-or-treat time. I really? Cute, you know, super cute. Or on your kitchen table, mm -hmm. like you said, that'd be super cute next, next to a centerpiece or next to your fireplace if you have one yeah. on those cozy fall nights. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. And guys, this is no carve. This is gonna last you year after year. You can change it up if you get bored. You know, anything like that, you're gonna love it. Bobby said, oh my lord, I'll stick to paper. I would have tossed <laughs> that pumpkin by now. No! You know, guys, if you watch my videos, I am not a patient crafter, but there's something about this process that I'm like totally fine with. And I think is I see the value in the investment of time. Like I think, okay, this is going to give me an amazing quality look that I could never have got carving. Right. I could have never got this look by painting. Um, so this is definitely worth the investment, especially if you grab some of these pumpkins on, you know, when they're really, they're, they have some amazing sales because let's face it, when you're paying full retail price, for almost anything at the craft store, LOL. Um, you are making an investment, but if you can find these when they're on sale, that's the way to do it. There are some really, really great sales. Uh, Mary said, just joining in, what are those fonts? So this is from our Makers Gonna Learn collection. So this is from our holiday collection that you're able to download right now if you are a member of Makers Gonna Learn. If you are brand new to the channel and looking for more inspiration, Makers Gonna Learn is the number one place for die cutting enthusiasts to go to stay creative from instructional videos with our, um, our Facebook group, we have live trainings, and then you get the files in SVG and PNG. And look, we're going to position this down. I like to use the back of this just to let it kind of flow out where it's going to go. Look at that. And these fonts, they are one of a kind hand lettered fonts. So yes, you, you will can't not find these anywhere else. Nope, hand lettered exclusive to us. We are, work with our designers to develop these. And if you notice, they're super trendy. So if you are looking to grow your business through die cutting, um, you know, b make back some of that money you've invested, we offer a free commercial license. So for any of our active members, they're able to use these um, for free to make money. And we have quite a few successful members that, you know, are able to use some of our trends to sell on products. So you could sell this. If you made this and you wanted to sell it to um, one of your customers, you are more than welcome to Super Legal. So um, here is how easy it is to make a faux pumpkin with your Cricut with Makers Gonna Learn. And you guys learned a few little tips and tricks for being able to apply vinyl onto such a textured surface. So are there any questions about this process? Yes, uh, not about the process, about okay. joining. Okay. So Jennifer wants to know, she sent a Facebook message about joining to us, but is there a link she could click down yes. below? Yes, if you are looking to join makersgonnalearn.com, click the first link below um, and filling out our contact forms on either a little craft in your day or makers gonna learn is the best way to get in touch with us so if you have any emails that we haven't responded back to yet last week was crazy we had our um mary our customer support team um, that manages that she was out she just had a baby so we were filling in for her and then i was in portland it was a little crazy so be sure to reach back out if you haven't heard from us but if you're looking to join makers gonna learn be sure to click the first link below and if you're looking to get a ticket to our summit check out the second link below but i do want to let you know year members actually get 90 dollars off their registration so be sure to if you're looking to come to the summit if you're wanting access to all of our files and everything like that to join if you haven't already because we are packing up some really awesome gifts to send to everyone for the summit so that's awesome is there anything else um another big thing is people ask what's the difference from the membership versus um, something like Cricut Access, you get all of these files. So with a membership, I want, say you're joined for a year, you know, something happens, you aren't able to stay or you stop crafting for a little bit, take a break, you're busy, um, you get all of the files, you, you keep those forever. And that's something really important for us with our membership. Now, if you want the commercial license, you have to be an active member, um, but you get all of them for personal use. So you keep those, you're getting value every single month to download and keep forever. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'm so glad we are here crafting on a Monday morning. We are going to be back more this 
this week and we have a special announcement video coming Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern with even a special guest. So, whew, Rachel, it's been a lot of fun. And if you are a member of Makers Gonna Learn, head on over to the Facebook group because we just made a little announcement video over there that is super exciting. So thanks for watching guys and we'll talk soon. Wait, is there any more comments? Anything else? Just everybody giving, giving lots of love to the project. Yay! We have a viewer actually saying that she's going to be at MadeItCon and she can't wait to meet you. Oh my gosh! I am so excited. If you look at around, you would see us gathering up everything for Made It Con. So get excited. We have five classes. And if for any reason you are coming to Made It Con in Gatlinburg, Tennessee this weekend, be sure to sign up for one of our classes. I cannot wait to meet you guys. So yay, yay, yay. Cannot and, wait. And uh, one of our viewers, Delinda, Hi, Delinda, wants to know, is there a good place to purchase the Cricut machine? I've looked around and they're pretty expensive. Is there any sales going on that you know of? Also, um, honestly, you can always find a great deal on Cricut.com. Sign up for their email newsletter. Um, if you're excited to take the plunge, I would always recommend using one of our links in the description to purchase as that supports the channel and really helps us to grow. So if you are able to use those links, we highly, highly um, thank you for that. And I, I think Cricut.com has some of the best deals and it kind of makes sense because they're the manufacturer. So they're going to give you the best offerings. So you're cutting out the middleman and there's a few different discount codes. Um, for example, if you use Cricut, craft in your day. I don't think it works on machines, but your material, you can get 10% off using that code, but they have awesome bundles, which I really like. Um, so yeah, Cricut.com is definitely a huge resource. And Miss Peggy said she's also taking a class that made it. <gasps> Peggy, yay! I can't wait to meet everyone. Like we are going to have so much fun. So I cannot wait. If you are going to be there, you know, let us know if you're watching the recorded. And thank you guys so much for hanging out. Rachel and I are going to get back to work. We've got a lot to prepare for MadeItCon, so it's going to be good. But thanks for watching, guys. Bye.